I am the immigrant child, born and bred on the fingers of bananas, backs of chickens, hearts of breadfruits, livers, tripes, and kidneys of cows. The immigrant child whose forefathers threw what they called pardners to ensure that on September mornings, there would be no bawling since I, like the rest, could stand with the best and big up my chest and proudly tell the teachers good morning. Yes, I am the immigrant child whose very large family shared two bedrooms and one veranda, who fumbled with bottled torches at nights to find the toilets. And though I may reside in four and five bedroom houses with en suites attached, you know there was a time when I had roofs that were thatched and patched to keep the waters at bay. Hey, hear me when I say, I am the immigrant child who has embarked upon a land of promise, a land foretold many years ago, a land where milk and honey flows. The immigrant child whose migration and subsequent integration has made me a proud Canadian, entitled to all the shores of Nova Scotia, Manitoba, British Columbia, Newfoundland and Labrador has in store. As much sap as my tongue can lap from the bark of the maple trees while mastering as many degrees as my tuition fees deems feasible. I am the immigrant child destined to fulfill the goodwill of those that sent me, those who themselves knew not this land of promise. I am the immigrant child whose rich heritage oozes from my pores as I try to ensure that the doors of these great memories are open wide to impart a sense of humility and pride while being a guide to this generation and the generations after that. I am the immigrant child born and bred on the Fingers of bananas, backs of chickens, heads of goats, tails of pigs, livers, tripes, and kidneys of cows. And I am the immigrant child who will die, humbly holding dear the heart of the breadfruit, the immigrant child. The fabric of our being. Tightly woven into Canada's fabric, 150 years strong. Yes, we've been here all along. Certainly not of our own free will, but in search of freedom song. Not newcomers on the fringes as some would have us believe. Look closer to the center if you please. You will see us living the Canadian dream, once a nightmare to our ancestral stream. Crossing many rivers, valleys, and streams. We've come a mighty long way. Though it's been a hard road to travel, we will not unravel, but will revel in the beauty and multicultural fabric of our home and native land, 150 years strong. You best believe we've been here all along, the fabric of our being. Thank you.